I told you all along we're going to win now under Matt Ryan, and getting Kyle Pitts was the right decision. <laughs> Watch Justin Fields fail. Damn it, I knew we shouldn't have won under Matt Ryan. We should have got Justin Fields who played for Georgia. What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown. And if you're new here, welcome. So a pretty big game coming up, and that is the Atlanta Falcons versus the Chicago Bears. Hopefully we can get revenge after what happened two years ago versus the Bears where we had an epic collapse of a lead per usual. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is a really, really big game, and... Instead of going over a preview, because I'll just be honest with you, basically those teams are like exactly the same. Like they both run the football and both of their quarterbacks are very, very mobile and their defense honestly just hasn't really been the greatest. Um, and yeah, like they're kind of the same exact team. It just comes down to who wants it more. But the thing I wanted to talk about is honestly the thing that everyone is kind of talking about, not just Falcons fans, and that is Justin Fields. But not just Justin Fields, should the Atlanta Falcons have drafted, should they have drafted Justin Fields at four last year instead of Kyle Pitts? And this is, uh, you know, this is kind of a cool topic to talk about, not only because for one thing, the OG Rise Up Rundown fans will know very, very well I was not freaking on board with winning now under Matt Ryan. I thought they should have went with a quarterback. And then my stance kind of slowly changed. And then when we got Kyle Pitts, I was A-OK -okay with it. And for a while, it looked like that was the right decision. But now, all of a sudden, Justin Fields is kind of, as I said like 10,000 times in my previous video, picking up the pace. And he's kind of taking the league by storm and... ESPN people are saying he should be in the MVP conversation uh, and now everyone's like wondering where Kyle Pitts is so it's just kind of funny how the tables turn but uh, my honest answer to you is maybe going to disappoint you but I'll just be honest with you I think it's way too early to tell I do I, I think it's way too early to tell and it's not just because they're in year two and we need to see more uh, you know seasons from them that's not it really but it's part of it it's mainly because of the situation that both of those teams are in now you know I, I will start this off by saying yes you know Justin Fields didn't really have like the greatest surrounding core coming in and yet he's still playing very well so you could have just said oh well Justin Fields if we went to Atlanta it still wouldn't have been this great surrounding cast what if he did the exact same thing he's doing in Chicago and he actually would have produced well and we would have had promise for the future with a promising quarterback. Um, but I'm just, I'm pumping the brakes on that because, I mean, it kind of goes back to what I said, how for one thing, you know, it's only year two. Uh, Kyle Pitts looked like he was, you know, the right choice year one. All of a sudden, people just suddenly think he's not. And then Justin Fields wasn't great year one. Now they're saying we should have got him year two. So that's one thing. Like, let's see if the tables just don't randomly turn on us. But two, um, Kyle Pitts, I am not trying to bash him, him by any means. I actually think, I, I still think Kyle Pitts can actually end up being the right decision if we get ourselves a quarterback. And this is what makes me mad. It really makes me mad whenever I see on Twitter, Oh my gosh, like the Falcons got Kyle Pitts and they don't utilize him. Man, like a questionable decision by the Falcons. Like it makes me mad anytime someone says that because it's like, why do you, why do you think that Kyle Pitts is not being utilized? Why do you think we're a run heavy team right now? We don't have a quarterback. Hey, you know why I also want to wait? Because what if Desmond Ritter actually is randomly the guy and he does somehow step in at some point in the season? And if we get ourselves a quarterback, voila, you could all of a sudden see Kyle Pitts get utilized. And I think we saw Kyle Pitts go to the Pro Bowl and get a thousand yards because we still had a good quarterback last year in 2021, Matt Ryan. 2022, Matt Ryan's not the best, but uh, and Matt Ryan last year compared to Marcus Mariota this year is a much different quarterback. And I think it speaks for itself. Like Kyle Pitts isn't getting the numbers he's supposed to mainly because hello no quarterback so i would just wait till we get a quarterback before we can truly evaluate who kyle pitts is and if he was the right player and frankly kyle pitts isn't even doing bad this year i mean like shocker whenever you give him a touchdown in a game 
were undefeated and like, you know, he anytime he gets utilized, the Falcons do end up winning games. So that's already one thing. But two, um, he's even when we lose and he's not util, he's not being utilized all that much. I mean, he's still not bad. It's just simply we're not throwing to him. It just the numbers lie to you. I think he's actually still a great player. Just could we target him more is all I'm trying to say. Um, but this is a big, big game. And uh, yeah, it, it's really interesting how the tables have turned. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys with a video this Tuesday at 11 o'clock. Amy Cern, love and appreciate you all for the support. And as always, rise up.